Thanks for checking out my updated Submagic review. Here I'm going to be giving you a demo of some of the most popular features as well as showing you exactly how it works. If you would like to test out Submagic yourself, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment. And if you do want to upgrade, be sure to use the coupon code ISLAND to save even more money when getting started. My way of saying thank you so much for watching this video. Let's begin. So getting to review Submagic yet again has been a walk in the park. Not only have they added more to their software, but the process overall has become even easier and more straightforward. If you want to upload a project, very simple to do, here's going to be the demo for you. And I swear I did not plan for that to rhyme, okay, it just came out that way. Let's click on new project right here. And of course, what you want to do is upload your video right here. Max length is going to be two minutes. Keep in mind, this is for the specific plan that I have. I will get to the pricing plans as we go deeper into the review. And the max size is going to be two gigs. So browse for video. All right, so we have two things to choose very quickly. Language auto, you can just put English if you're gonna be using that. But as you're gonna see right here, they have plenty of other languages that you can choose from. So that's a good thing to see if you are gonna be using a language outside of English, okay? Speakers, one or two, depending on how many you have in the video. I have one, let's click on generate captions. Now with the process, it's gonna take a little bit of time as you can see here, transfer to server, add the emojis, highlight important words, create it. And when it's done, I will get back to you and show you exactly how it works on the inside of Submagic. All right, so here we are on the inside of Submagic. First things first, I think they have a fantastic assortment of different styles that you can choose from when having your captions being read, obviously. So what I like doing, just to give you a little bit of a tip here, a lot of times you're gonna start the video, it's not gonna show anything. Just move a little bit into it so you can see what it looks like, all right? So now when you change these styles that you wanna use, you can actually see them. So we have Sarah, Danielle, Dan2, Hormozy4, and keep in mind that a lot of the ones with the little like red lightning bolt on it will be the premium ones. And they do that a lot with the features on the inside. So depending on the plan that you have, you may or may not be able to use all of these. I will touch on that a little bit later as well. But for me personally, I think the Hormozy ones are pretty good. And of course you can change them around. There's gonna be like say the caption position. So if you wanna move this, I like having it a little bit further down. We can have it a little bit bigger too. So when you make it bigger, you're probably gonna to wanna to move it back up. There is the ability to obviously change the colors. And if you really wanna customize things, you can go to the customization right here. So we have the fonts, you can upload your own font. Once again, if you wanna use a premium feature, the weight of it, the size of it, more colors, the stroke around it, the shadow around it, how many words you want to display, the, the axis on which it's going to be displayed. And if there's a few other things you wanna change around like animations, punctuation, they really do a good job when it comes to fine tuning what you wanna use. And overall, best enough, once again, if you do want a premium feature here, you can create a theme and just keep using it. So you can go through this once, maybe put a few minutes into it and when saving it, you're not gonna have to worry about which caption and which style that you wanna use. So you can kind of create your own, whether it be based upon someone else's or maybe around your own brand. And that's a great thing because it can save you a good amount of time in the process. All right, so here we are in the trim section. Maybe if you had created a video and it wasn't perfect or you wanna remove specific words or sections, you can do that. So we can simply go in here. Maybe there was a word you didn't wanna use or maybe you wanted to change it around. You can simply click on it. You can remove it from selection. You can keep it and so on and so forth. But I think the best features here, once again, it's gonna be premium ones. You have the ability to remove silences. So if you have a video and maybe there's a big cut in between, you can do that automatically. You can remove bad takes. So for example, if you created a video and you did and edit everything out. Maybe you messed up, you stopped, you had to repeat the same thing over and over and you forgot to remove it. You can ditch the bad takes in this as well. So there's a little bit of editing that comes along with it. I wouldn't say Submagic would be like a primary editor. I would say like have your video done, throw it into Submagic and let the caption, the B-roll stuff do what it needs to do. But these are going to be here if you need to use them, which is always nice. So with the B-roll, as you saw there, what it's gonna do is analyze it and kind of show what it could be using here in the process. So this is gonna be the sections where you can add a specific B-roll right here and you can add transitions in between. However, if you want some magic to do its thing automatically, yes, I did say automatically, you can click on magic B-rolls right here. So after giving it some time, it says they've been added successfully. So this is actually a video where I wouldn't wanna do it, but I just wanna show you how it works. 
what you're gonna do is gonna go through and it's gonna showcase all of the magic B-rolls that have been put in there. So it finds kind of the ideas of what these are gonna be about, and of course adds it. And this one looks like it's a subway. Uh, I probably wouldn't wanna use that one specifically. So say we wanna delete that, you can just simply delete it like that. And if you didn't wanna use magic B-rolls or change it around, what you can do is just say maybe use less of them. So maybe we wanna do 25 or 23% of it. You're gonna see that we now have a whole lot less there. Cool thing about this, say if you do magic b-rolls and you just don't like them, you can click on reset and it's going to go back to the beginning where everything was how it was. However, if you want to go through and say maybe pick out a specific section, say we have emails right here, you can click on this word, you can search for b-rolls, you can search for gifts or even images. Those are pretty self-explanatory, but I think the b-rolls are a little bit better. You have free videos, premium, movies, images, my videos, my images, and so on and so forth. So we could have someone maybe going through their email, we can click on it right there, and it's going to showcase in this specific spot. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to silence this, we don't need to hear me talking over it. I'm going to start it here. I'm going to play it and then you can see actually what it looks like. So let's click on play. There you go, and it's actually someone looking like they're sending in emails. So overall, the B-rolls are great in my opinion. If you wanna spice up the videos that you have, you can also use transitions as well. So if you click right here, digital distortion, burn transition, camera wipe, and so on and so forth. So if I click here, I'm gonna start right here, and you're gonna see this transition going through. Let's click on play. And there it was, you had a very quick burn. And once again, if you use one, you didn't happen to like it, you can always try out a different one, click on none, same with this, maybe you want to delete it and just pretty much start from scratch. There's also gonna be magic zooms, which is nice. So I'm gonna click on this once again. And this is gonna be just the ability to move in and come back. And it's funny, cause I'm doing that motion with my hand as if you can see me. So, and all right, so if I click right here and do play, let's see, go all the way back to the beginning, you're gonna see a little bit of a zoom in. So it is actually a little bit in right now. So let's click play. And did you see that there, how it kind of like zoomed out a little? That's gonna be the magic zoom effect. Just a little bit of an extra in case you wanted to do that. And once again, if you didn't wanna use that, just click on reset. So it's very easy to say, go in, add something, delete it if you don't need it. Plus there is the undo button, very helpful. So there's also gonna be some other sections here if you wanna change around the colors. Maybe you were in a section where like you, the sun was outside and it was just so bright, you can change around these filters if needed or if you wanna just tinker with them. Brand, and as you can see here, is gonna be upgraded perk. I believe it's for the business plan right here. So you can add an image or text. This would be great, say if you have a logo here and you want to watermark it, you can do something like that. If you wanna clean up the audio, once again on pro or business plans to make it sound a little bit better, you can add music if needed. Me personally, I don't like adding music. Simply what I would do is when I upload it, say to TikTok, I would add the music that's already on there because I know I'll have no problems with it whatsoever. And plus you can see like what's working on TikTok with a lot of the songs. That's just my opinion personally. I like using music that's gonna be popular to the specific platform that I'm gonna be using, but you can add music if needed. This is gonna be a cover shot if needed. So if you wanna upload an image for the first section of it or a video, you can do that as well. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can certainly edit the captions if needed. So the good thing about this that I've always noticed is that they have a very high accuracy. And I went in there and just kind of looked at it just to see, and I didn't see any words that were incorrect. Everything looked good in terms of what I'm stating. Every now and then you'll probably get your last name wrong. Like if, if this software can spell Canzanella correctly, high five to them. If they don't, Pretty much like every person in the world can't get my last name correct, whether saying it or spelling it, but I'll just show you very quickly what the um, what the captions are gonna look like. So I'm gonna play this. I believe the volume is still down good. So this is gonna be what it's looking like. And of course, everything here, we can always change around if needed. So that's gonna be the captions. And another great thing here, once again, we have a premium feature. This is gonna be on pro or business plans. You can generate a hook title. So let's click right here. And this is a great way to get someone to just see what your video is gonna be all about. Or maybe this is gonna be, say, if it's sitting in your profile, they're gonna see something like this. But the idea here is that AI is gonna go through your video and find a great hook so that it can actually capture someone's attention. This is about unlocking auto DM links for instant engagement. And once again, there's gonna be specific themes that you can use. So they're very friendly when it comes to changing around the type of theme that you want for your captions. And of course, a few more other details that you can utilize once again. So if you wanted to do something like that, you most certainly can. So those are gonna be some of the biggest features when it comes to creating captions within Submagic overall. Of course, there's 
going to be the save button. There's also going to be export right here. They do have a few options you can use depending on your plan. So 1080 moves on up to 2K and 4K and FPS, I believe is frames per second. Comment down below if I'm wrong and 30 and then you have 60 if you're going to be on the business plan. And speaking of plans, let's take a quick look at the pricing that Submagic has to offer. Right off the bat, if you know you're going to be using this a lot, at least for a year, it would make sense to get the 41% annual discount simply by turning this on. And you can save even more with this if you use my coupon code ISLAND, which will be down below in the description or the pinned comment. But just for the sake of comparing prices, let's look at monthly right here. So starter is going to be 19, a little bit less with my coupon. You get 15 videos per month. You get max two minutes per video. So a few other things, as you saw here, you got 1080, you get text-based trimming, free B-rolls and audio, auto captions, AI, no watermark, and one team member. And then moving on from professional to business are going to be where some of the juicy features come in. For professional, 82% of people pick this. You move from 15 to 40 videos per month and you get max of five minutes per video. But with this, you also get trendy animation captions, custom captions, story blocks, B-rolls, and audio. So a nice little upgrade. You can remove the bad takes and silences, which I talked about, the hook titles, which I talked about, and of course, studio quality clean audio. Keep in mind, there is also magic clips that you can add on to either of these where you get unlimited clips instantly from long videos with AI, that's going to be $19 extra a month. Keep in mind, I have yet to test this, so I can't comment this on or review it specifically. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. Then for business, we're obviously moving up even more, 100 videos, five team members. This is where you can export in 4K or 60 FPS, custom templates, logos and brand assets, and of course, a few others that are going to be included with that. So and of course, it really just depends on what you're looking for. Like if you just want to start with video creation and 15 videos per month is going to do it for you, obviously starter would be great. But a lot of people I can see why would be using this. This is over one video per day. So with that, you also get a lot of those nice perks. And if you really need, say, like what, three videos a day, three three times 30 is 90. So if you're really pumping out videos here, business is going to be great for you. So with all that in mind, let's cap off this Submagic review and of course figure out is it worth it. All in all, Submagic definitely lives up to its name. It's smooth, easy to use, and practically reads your mind with how accurate the captions are. Throw in a buffet of caption styles, hook titles, b-roll and magic b-roll, don't forget about auto zoom, and you've got yourself a creative playground that actually respects your time. The pricing as we talked about, pretty solid, especially when you drop in the coupon code ISLAND and watch the total dip. And with that said, Submagic does have a little bit of a flirty side, teasing you with the juicy features locked behind the professional or business plans. And while I haven't test driven their Magic Clips upgrade just yet, the rest of the platform already feels like a cheat code for content creators and they are definitely most certainly worth it. So if you want your videos looking pro without pulling your hair out, Submagic definitely delivers and you can click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment to try them out. And remember, if you do want to upgrade, be sure to use that coupon code ISLAND. It's going to save you even more money in the process. And that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Submagic.ai review and I hope you enjoy it.